Davis and Vinnie Johnson. Johnson off the screen on the pick and roll. Lane Beer trying to cover it up for a jump ball, and we'll have one. We'll see whether Lane Beer will be one of them. See, every time that the Pistons are running that baseline staggered screen for Vinnie Johnson, he's getting three picks on the baseline as he comes up. Yeah, we're having a little conversation here right now. Oh, that's to be expected. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's just a continuation of every game they play. But uh, what the L.A. Lakers are doing that's beautiful is they keep switching out. They're not going to. This is where Adrian Danley got hurt. It was a week ago Tuesday, and it was Mark Aguirre here who hit Danley in the jaw with his elbow, 12 stitches, and it's really affected the way he's played and as far as the strength too, Hubie. Well, he has a stamina problem because he's reduced to pancakes, soup, and eggnog. Along with the heavy medication that he's taking, they have a modified uh, mouthpiece, a football mouthpiece, and he's having difficulty breathing. But he's out there, and he's the second-leading scorer for the Pistons, averaging nearly 18 a game. Quickness made that play. He penetrated and, of course, laid the ball. Here's the scoring in the game so far. Frazier's highest point man in the ball game with 18. Tom John of his 15. A brief altercation is quickly broken up between Bradley and Ratliff. I think what happened in this particular play, Bradley's elbow kind of hits Ratliff in the neck, and he didn't like it. I think Ratliff's foot kind of hit Bradley. Like some of that kung fu fighting. <laughs> 6 16 to go in the third quarter. Here it is again. You'll see Bradley throw a little elbow, and Ratliff throw a little foot. No harm, no foul. <laughs> Always the NBA. Randy goes with somebody right now. He's going to. You're right, Mindy. Adams will check back in. Shumay with a second chance. Nice look look out. Watch this. Look at it's this. Silas St. Shumay. Hold it. Hold it, babe. Good go, Jake O'Donnell. He got in there just in the nick of time. Because they were really going to haul off and smack each other. John Shumay will take a rest. He's pointing at his nose. He says, that's where Silas got me under there. Let me tell you something else. I spoke to John Shumay before the game, and he mentioned about an incident. Friday night. Let's watch this, Brent. Shumate came right back up over his back, and there was the elbow. That's what hit him in the nose. Look at Jake O'Donnell breaking that thing up. That's real good work by one of the officials. I've got to compliment him on that. Getting in there just in the nick of time. Whoa. We're going to get elbow, a left elbow right to the back of the head. Uh -huh. Roby and Johnson are very upset at each other. The foul was called on Roby for the pick. Was it called on Roby? No, on it? Henderson. Was it called on Henderson? All right. And Johnson's the one who... Johnson now, went now. over, and now Rulin knocks Henderson down. This is going to erupt in about a moment. Rulin and Henderson had their words in Washington. Now they're shoving O'Donnell. Bill Fitch gets pulled out of the pack. This whole thing has just suddenly popped open on a Frank Johnson elbow to the back of Gerald Henderson's head. As if I can reconstruct what happened, the foul was called on Henderson. Roby had set the pick. Johnson was fouled, and when Johnson, when, when Henderson was walking away, Johnson came up behind him and gave him an elbow right to the back of the head. That's when Roby grabbed him by the back of the neck and kind of led him away, and then everybody else came onto the floor. Henderson was knocked down by Rulin, and you recall that Rulin and uh, Henderson uh, got in an argument the other day when Gerald went after Mahorn. We had almost uh, watch. a breakout of hostilities on Saturday, and now watch. Now, watch Johnson. After. Johnson watch moves when he in. Gets up. And a foul call here on oh, Anderson. Oh, Anderson I Anderson dropped the ball on Anderson his head. drops the ball on okay. him. That was the same yeah. somewhat. And now Bang. Johnson gives him an elbow back. Rick grabs the little guy by the uh, shoulder and lays a few words on him. And, and then everything now, gets in a turmoil. Now the peacemakers jump in, and that's when all hell really breaks loose. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Coos, in these situations, were you, uh, oh, yeah. you consider yourself, went, would you consider I, yourself oh, a peacemaker? Oh, boy, I'll tell you. I went for that water boy in a hurry. Those little guys never fooled with me. Get that little guy in the uh, 
handing out the there's paper point, cups. Henderson hitting the deck yeah. when Roland pushed Roland him away. Roland gives him a forearm. <laughs> Jake O'Donnell alertly gets in here. No. Well, now we have been able to see what precipitated the whole thing. You know, coaches, I don't know what they can do about it, really, but coaches are fined if something like this occurs, even if they, you know, pledge their best efforts to try to contain it. And players, of course, that are not involved in... Underneath, blocked by Bobby Jones. Here comes Jay. Watch this now. And in. That's getting it right back at you, mister. Well, I'll tell you. There's just nothing else to be said of that guy. Boy, he just hit the floor about as hard as you'll ever see anyone uh, hit it. Follows it up with this play. Again goes down. This time he'll pick up the foul on ML Carr. Carr and Irving. Jake O'Donnell right between oh, the two. O'Donnell anticipated it because the Carr whole scene wants to right here in front of our bench. Right here in front of our broadcast position. Both officials now in front of oh. Carr. And Fitch is in there now, too. Well, as we pointed out. Jay went down about as heavily in his heart on those last two plays as he perhaps ever has in his career. ML plays a physical sort of game. There's no question about it. And Jay, being the superstar that he is, has to take a lot of contact sometimes. Let's take a look at it again. This is the comeback at you. ML steps in to try to force him out of the play. Obviously, a lot of contact. Jay did not like well, it as he looks right into the camera. He Is that a look? Five months passes quickly when you repeat as an NBA champion. When you lose, it's an eternity. For L.A. and Detroit, last season's physical finale was a drama in seven acts. It ended to a standing ovation. In the finals, contact led to confrontation, even among the best of friends. For Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas, a kiss turned sour in a series that strained even the best of friendships. Tonight, they meet again. Went to the limit. I couldn't go any longer. I couldn't give any more. Um, it was the hardest playoff I've ever been in. I, I hate the way we lost. Um, I hate that we lost, period. And that, that makes me very bitter. Um, almost to the point of angry. When we won, I actually went back into the back just to lay down for a minute. I was so exhausted. Uh, just to, to get up some energy just to celebrate. <laughs> you know, Pat Riley said to me, you, you just don't understand uh, let me get his exact word. You just don't understand how much luck is involved in winning an NBA championship. And that <laughs> me off even more. <laughs> <laughs> the memories don't die, but it's a new chapter now for Isaiah and Magic. The Lakers and the Pistons, welcome back to the NBA on CBS.